Hi, and welcome to part two of how to color this plant shelf from the World of Colors coloring book. So uh, this is what we did in part one. Okay, we did the all the leaves and then um, that the vine, and then now we're gonna do a few of the plants. Okay, so let's get started. Let me get a little closer here so we can get up here. All right. Now from the last video, we, you remembered we had some greens already and some yellows and things that we worked with. So we're going to um, kind of use the, the same colors, but we're going to change them up a little bit because we don't want to keep all the colors the same. So um, the first thing, let's work on this one right here. Okay. So um, what I want to do is let's um, bring in some new colors that we haven't worked with yet. And let's try, um, uh, how about this one? No, this one. All right, I'm, let's grab a pale sage. Okay. So we're going to take a pale sage, and what we're going to do is I'm just going to base these little tips with the pale sage. So we can have a nice light back um, tip, uh, tippy tops for little highlights. Okay. So we're going to get that going. All right. Now my last video, I know I, ha I noticed that I had my hand in in a lot of it. So I'm going to try to see if I can remember to keep my hand out of the way. It's hard because I'm trying to do a good job coloring too, but. I might, my video capabilities are not very good. All right, and I'm going to do the same here on this one. Just basing these in here. Okay, and I think on this one, I'm going to, um, uh, let's just do these two for now because I want to make them a little different. Okay, then um, I want to take a, um, let's try our uh, apple grain. So let's take an apple grain. And let's just give some goodness here to the leaves. Okay. I'm just going to color that. Bring in some lighter green. Okay. Then I want to um, bring in some dark. So let's do the, um, the um, kelp green. We use from the from the last one. And just bring it up. Okay. And you gotta just take your time with these, you know, because these are really they're really small, so there's a lot of detail. And my eyes aren't that great too, so I tend to go out the lines a little bit. But that's okay because I know there's going to be a background, so I'm not all that worried. Okay, so now, now we need to have a we need um, something a little bit darker than this. Um, let's try this one here, which is dark green. So let's grab out the dark green, and oh, my pencil that just broke. Sorry. All right, so we now we got some dark green, and with the dark green. We're gonna put some shadows in here. So let's um, and it also adds a little bit of a color, like a almost like a green. It's like a I don't know. It's a dark, but it's bright green. This one a little darker just because it's in the back. Okay. Then I want to take a um, let's try espresso. And with the espresso, let's just Espresso is a good color when you're shading greens because it's kind of like got a green tint to it. Okay, so we've got some little that going. Alright, now on some of them, let's take our uh, canary yellow and just on a few we might want to add a little bit of canary yellow in here just to jazz it up a little, make them sparkle. Okay, now on here I'm going to add couple maybe in there and then I'm gonna do the same thing we're gonna take out my lime peel lime peel and let's just do a few 
of these. Then let's take um, the kelp green again. And fill these in. I just want to darken this up a little here. There we go. Okay, so we got a dark. Okay, it's got a nice, nice little bright brightness to it, doesn't it? Okay. Now, um, on this one here, let's put the base, the tips, in some canary yellow. Again, um, with the, uh, I'm trying to think if I want to use a different color. Let's try Kelly Green. And we'll put some Kelly Green in here. Then I want to put different, another green in here. Let's do um, Prussian green. So Prussian green. And then um, let's do some espresso again. Down here. There's some shadow going here. And then I'm going to take, um, uh, here, let's get this one here. This is uh, spring green. And I want to go over the yellow on some of those with the spring green to layer that over and then since I have it out I might as well use the spring green for these little sprigs and then we'll got it out might as well use those as a base let's make those like little leaves and then let's take a um, uh, pink. And let's throw some pink on here. Okay. Okay, and then let's take a, um, let's see, which one? Dark green. Dark green. And Throw some dark green in here. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's do these little guys here. Oh, well, we have the dark green out. Let's give them a little in the line. Okay. And then let's make them little flowers. So let's grab these little like little buds. Let's grab the pale sage. Base the whole thing with a pale sage. So we got pale sage, and then let's take um, this one here. Let's do the um, Kelly green, and let's put a little bit of a shadow in here. Okay, 
Okay. And then, um, I just found one. Okay. Throwing a little Kelly green in here. Just down there. All right, let's do a, let's a little pot here, a little vase. Or wait a minute, let's do the, this thing, the vase, a little pot. Okay, so let's take a jasmine. And with the jasmine, what we're going to do is let's just put this here, jasmine, and then let's just do, which I'll do that one, do this one, and this one, do this. Got a little base going for the jasmine. Okay, then let's take uh, some light umber. <laughs> okay, with some light umber. Let's uh, start making a little bit of a shadow here. Chestnut. Oh, uh, maybe. Let's try a little chestnut in here. Just on this. Okay. I'm looking for a certain color. Sienna brown. Sienna brown in here too. And we want a little shadow under there. See on the sides, we want to have like a little highlight maybe in the middle. And then uh, let's take Sienna brown again. in, darker here, and then kind of burying the shades. I'm not filling it in real solid, I'm just sort of like, you know, like that, just coloring it in, get the pot going. Now what we need is we need a really dark brown. Um, we need to get some contrast or we're not going to live up to my standards. Alright, we're going to take some dark brown. Dark brown. And now start making it a little bit more extreme, right? There's shade here. There's a dark brown over right here. Give it some layers. Okay, um, what we'll do is put a little one here. And up here. And then uh, let's take a. This is called the bronze. Uh, well, let's not use the bronze. I want that color though, but not in a bronze. I just need to blend in an area there. Let's take this uh, mineral orange. 
and just put a little up there. All right. Now, since we have the mineral orange out, I guess, let's just kind of do this area here. Let's do this area. Yeah, let's do this area here. the whole thing. Middle orange. And okay, so we got the middle orange going. Now I, what I want to do is put in um, some, uh, what was that red carmine we used before? I like that color, but I have it out, so I have it over here. Let's give it a little bit of a shadow. So let's take um, uh, this the sienna brown. And let's put a sienna brown up in here. Let's make shadow over here. Some brown. Okay. There you go. It's got a nice little. Nice little. Nice color. Got some highlights, so that's good. Alright, let's do this pot here now. Um, Let's grab that the hot this hot pink. No, the hot pink. Where's the hot pink at? I know. Hot pink. I'm gonna do these flowers here in a hot pink. I don't like that. They're, not, they're a little dreary for me. I'm gonna brighten them up a little bit. Not really flowers, but they're it's okay. Alright, now let's do the pot. Now let's do this pot differently. Let's grab um, one of these blues. Alright, let's base this one here in a sky blue sky blue light. Okay, sky blue light. And we're just gonna it's like one of those colorful, you know how they have those colorful pots that they make. Um, let's just go ahead and base this whole thing here in, in that. Okay. Alright base the whole thing just kind of messily all right then let's take our uh, non non photo blue and with a non photo blue let's start giving a little bit of shade in here and then let's put some down in here down in here okay and then Let's see, this pot here will make it a different color. So now let's grab this one here, which is a, uh, a parrot green. And let's put the parrot green over here. Okay. And then maybe, maybe a little over here. Don't really need it everywhere. I like to be. Right, some peregrine, and I think I'm going to do some peregrine down here too. Okay, then um, let's do this too. Right over here. Okay, now let's take this um, uh, color, which is cobalt turquoise. Cobalt turquoise. Detail. Mm -hmm. okay. Do 
turquoise. Okay. Well, then we're gonna do this bottom base. Let's give this bottom base a little bit of a lip up here. Okay. Now let's take uh, an ultra uh, China blue. This is China blue. So with the China blue, I want to kind of. China blue back in here. Right here. Please. Okay, let's take our non non photo blue. Actually, I'm just kind of filling it in. It's changing, it's metamorphosizing. Okay, a little here. Okay, let's take an indigo blue. We need to put in, start putting in our details, our, where we like our light darks and lights. Let's try to add some, uh, let's get the, let's see, this is just a pink, and I'm going to put a little pink on here, and let's get our um, canary yellow, and see if this will turn out a little bit more interesting. I'm going to put some canary yellow in there, okay, I've got a little bit of a nice pot to it, doesn't it? All right, now over here, since I have happen to have it out, right, it's out, so I'm just going to base this whole thing in a canary yellow. And then let's take um, one of those, how about this one? This is a parrot green, and I want to... Um, about this one here, we got process red. So, well, I don't really want it red. Let's do um, some, what's this one here? Let's do this. Some lilac. Let's grab some lilac. Put a, um, this is a diox purple. this up a little bit here and I think let's go like this let's go like this make a little bit of like it's got a little bit of a bush back in here it didn't look good let's 
kind of plain. I yeah, like a little bush back in here. And maybe if you want to make it look like a leaf, you can make little points. So look like little leaves. Coming out. And maybe even make it make some leaves come out. There. Okay. Alrighty. That's the same pressure green I had already. It was already out, so um, I'm gonna take this uh, espresso and just kind of darken this area up a little bit, just so they look a little bit more. Put some espresso on the bottom here, and on the top of that. Leave a little highlight. Yeah, let's put in some shadow over here. Okay, give it a little bit of character there. Okay, come along here. Alrighty. Now on this one, well, we we're working with those purples. So let's stick with the purple, huh? So let's take uh, the lilac. Lilac, lilac. Hmm. Somebody was once telling me that was stupid because I was saying it lilac, and uh, I was like, "Well, I don't know. It's just how I say it." So I don't know. They were kind of mean to me. I was like, "What? I don't know about pronunciation." Okay, let's take. This is a uh, Parma violet. So some Parma Violet, just add a little bit of some details, Parma Violet, and then um, these little buds up here, let's grab some of this um, yellow and orange, and let in, like it's maybe had some little droppings down in here, okay, some orange. This is um, our chestnut, chestnut color. We're going to have a background back in here anyways. It's probably going to fade out in the background, but either way. All right, um, I have a chestnut out. I think I'll put some over there. It's a little bit more of a shadow. Mess it up a little. That's good. All right. Like some good detail going, huh? All right, let's do this pot now. Okay, so I think what we'll do here is let's use this um, raspberry and do um, let's just kind of fill in this area here. When you see these little dots, let's just I'm just gonna go around them right now, actually. Well, I can also use my gel pen, but in case you don't have a gel pen. I'm go like this because I, I want to leave the little dots. And then we're going to spool around the area there. If you do have a white gel pen, you can, you know, put some dabs in there. I have one, so I'll probably do that. But, but I'll do. I'll show you how to do it this way in case you don't have one. Just kind of go around them, okay. and it's okay if it's a little messy because you know, again, I want a little bit of a texture. I don't want one solid color because then it just looks like it's a marker, and we don't want that. All right now. Um, I make this lighter in here, but inside this area, let's just do these here. This little background. This is really, really fine work. I mean, you got to have a really sharp pencil, and you got to have some good glasses. I can barely see this. It's all blurry to me. So, if, it, if I go out of lines, sorry. <laughs> it's okay though. It won't matter in the long run. But it's because my eyes 
are just not doing very good. Alright, so let's uh, fill in this area here. And again, I'm just kind of doing it kind of messy because I like a little texture. I don't want it to be and so the color. And let's let's leave a little loop. See how I'm see. So I leave a little spot on top of it, like a little uh, highlighted area. So I'm just kind of going around like this. Throw this in here. base on this one too. It's so relaxing. I'm so relaxed right now. Hope you are too. Some uh, dark purple. Let's do. Uh, I want to. Well, let's try some black grape. Let's see how that works out. I want to shade this area a little. Some black grape. I want to start going over, over it a little. I want this to be kind of like a dark pot. Let's this area here would be shaded, so let's make this shaded. This will be shaded too. Okay. down into that so it's you don't want it to look like it's an outline for a line. I'm just going to yeah, blend it in. Let's go like this. Okay. And over here Okay, and let's take uh, dark purple, dark purple, just get some sh real good shadow in here. Okay, now I want to take some um, lilac, 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 <laughs> tomato, tomato. Some lilac in here.
this piece is going to take a while because there's a lot of details in here, so it's fun. It's going to have some patience. Lots of layers, lots of shades. I'm taking out the black grape again. And I always come back and redo things as the picture progresses. Um, you know, we might need to darken it, add some shadows and things like that. So, um, okay, so we got those ones here. Let's do, let's do these pretty little guys here. All right. And what I want to do here is, let's see, uh, what color do we want to use? Okay, let's use our pale sage on some of these. Well, we want some highlights, just a few of these. Okay, maybe these. So we can have this is that's part of this flower here. Alright. Put some in here. Some in here. Alright, let's take our lime peel. And with our lime peel, I wanna get some of these guys. Just getting the rest of them. It didn't have that a little highlight. Can leave the tips light. So we'll have some. This is a dark green, and with a dark green, what I want to do is give it a little shadow. And I know they're really small, so it's you really gotta have good eyes to do this. Okay, so we'll just put this on all. Now in this pot here, let's do something with some pink. So huh? let's try, let's do this one here. I'm going to use the um, deco pink. All right, and let's just uh, base this outsides in a nice, pretty, pretty in pink, pretty in pink. <laughs> You know I love my pinks and turquoises. It's kind of my thing. The pinks, turquoises, the magentas. I love those colors. Canary yellow I love too. It's nice and bright. Alright, my aquas, you know, I love my aquas. Alright, so let's speaking of aqua, let's grab the uh it's a parrot green. I don't want that one. Sorry guy. Sorry, pal. You didn't make the cut. We've got some light aqua here. So let's, let's put in some of my favorite colors here. We've got some light aqua. And let's just do these little guys. Some 
light aqua, giving it a nice Mama Lisa pot here with my fair colors. Okay, put those in here. Same here with these little guys. Okay, now what we want to do is we gotta shade this up a little bit, and for that I want to use this. There's a special pink I like. Um, gotta get it. Okay, this is a salmon pink. And with the salmon pink, I want to add a little bit of that in here. Some nice salmon pink in there. I like this pink. It's a pinkish orange type thing. This is great for skin. People overlook the skin that you could use the salmon pink. It looks really good. I'm going to leave some highlights in the middle, so let's kind of shade this side too. So. So now we got a little bit of middle in there. Now we need to um, get the uh, sides. We need to add our our uh, shades. So what I want to do is grab a uh, shading color, which would be no, well, it's not going to work. It's not dark enough. My kids get into my colors and they get so mad because they don't sometimes I'll put them back, and so I can't find. Them. This is mahogany red. Okay. So I'm going to take some mahogany red, and I want to start shading here. These are good color combos. You should write them down in a little book, like your journal, or put them in a three-ring binder. So when you want to color something again, you have like a little sample. And you can, when you're trying to pick colors, you could just flip through your book and say, oh yeah, okay, that'll look good. I use my color chart, my Prisma color chart that I made, and I look at that when I want to see what the colors are, the actual colors for the pencils, so I can choose a color that's a combination I like. Uh, lightly, very lightly, because I want it highlighted here. And then I'm going to grab a... a a white, so speaking of that here, i grab my white if I can get it here. Uh, uh, sorry. Oh well. Alright, uh, with the white, um, I want to put some white in here. Oh. Highlight in here. There we go. Okay, it's slightly a little darker, but we'll get there eventually. Let's see this one. Let's do this one. Let's take this uh, dark purple. I don't want the dark purple. Never mind. I was just kidding. Um, I need something darker. I need a Tuscan red, but I think the, my kids got a hold of that one too. I know it's so frustrating. Urgh. I don't know how I have the patience. I really don't, because it drives me crazy if they do this. I want a Tuscan red, but I can't find it. Um, let's see how there's raspberry. Let's try raspberry. We'll use raspberry. It'll work. It's still a dark tone. Top, the top part with uh, this one here is uh, parrot green and I'm just gonna turn this down here and let's take our uh, um, this is the uh, non photo non, non no this is light aqua and I want these to be a little bit darker they weren't really popping out like I wanted them to Okay, and now I gotta accent those. So let's use um, let's use this one for that. 
Okay, and this is uh, cobalt turquoise. And I want to put them on the bottoms here just to accent those and make them pop out a little bit. And to And our non photo blue. Okay. And I think we're going to use my favorite canary yellow. And I'm going to sharpen it again. With these, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of sharpening because it's just so um, necessary. <laughs> so I'm just going to. And now I'm going to kind of go in here a little bit, just get a little orangey type. Okay. And I can even put some in here. Out there. Okay. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Huh? Alright. Now this little one here that's hanging in drape, it's like it's draping down, this one here. So let's do this in a, um, like a purple, like a, what's that, oh, there's a flower, so, I don't know what it's called, oh, there's a flower, yeah, we know there's a flower, but, um, let's do it, um, take this dark purple, and with the dark purple, I want to do the leaves, but we've got to have to leave a little edge, okay, because I want them to have some edge. And then, uh, uh, try to, I want them to glow a little bit um, at the tops. So let's take, uh, uh, let's just grab this pink. And I want to put a little bit of pink up here. I want these ones, I just want them to glow a little bit. On the bigger ones, you know, you can obviously do a lot more detail, but it's harder on there, on those little, little teeny ones. to get a, um, yeah, you can use any, any of your grains will work. This one happens to be a Prussian grain. And we got a little stem. Alright, go over here. I'm thickening them up a little bit because well, they just didn't look, they just too skinny. background so this will probably it won't come out anyways. Alright, now on this one here, let's do a uh, I don't know, let's do a I'm gonna do olive green type of a type of a thing. Um let's take uh, some let's see we got some artichoke which is olive. I'm pulling some olive colors. 
colors that I know have an olive tone to them. Okay, so let's try. Uh, okay, this is celadon green. Oh, that's good. That'll work. Celadon green. And with the celadon green, I just want to put a little base. Kind of messy. Alright, and then I'm going to use um, this one. Let's take some artichoke. And what's the, what we want to do here is we want to create a little some highlights. There's a pot here. Right. And then let's use um, kelp green. Kelp green. Lightly, just mm. and I need a nice dark, darker color, which would be probably be my espresso, but I can't find it here in this my little mess of stuff. Oh, um, I'll use this one. And ninety percent French gray. It's not espresso, but it'll still give me ninety percent French gray. Will be our dark color. Well, that actually worked out. That was fine. Should leave that out. Remember to use that when we do our background. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Just leave a little highlight there. Um. What is this? This is like a just like a little apple. All right. Well, I, I could pull out my Apple tutorial, but that thing's so small, we're not, not going to need to do that. So let's start uh, with this Carmine Red. And what we're going to do here is I want to make a place where I want the little highlight. Little highlight here. And then put some Carmine Red in here. Okay. Now we're going to start darkening this up a little bit. Okay, but we need to add a little bit of um, some of this um, yellow and orange in here, and we're gonna just okay. add some add some pizzazz. Now I need a, um, not a pomegranate, no, but I need, let's try a crimson red. And the crimson red, let's give it some. It's all a layering process, you know. Okay, so we've got a little apple in here. Yeah. Give it some, give it some defects. <laughs> okay. And then let's take a. Uh, this is a Kelly green. Yeah, and I'm just gonna put that in there. A little Kelly green. Alrighty. Now we we'll get these little guys here. So let's take. Uh, let's see what colors we're gonna use for that. Well. Let's take this uh, uh, gray green light. You know, gray green light. Let's put it in here. I want these energies there. Light. Okay. And then I want to take a. Where's that celadon green? I just had that out. Um, I can't find it now. There it is. Okay, the cell on green, what we want to do, so I want to put it maybe just on the edge. Just on the edge. And then the middles, let's do with the magenta or um, 
We got a raspberry. Uh, let's do this one here. The pomegranate. Oh, the pomegranate keeps coming up here. And I'm just gonna darken the pomegranate. And then I, let's take a. Um, Do this one. Okay, magenta. Yeah, magenta. Okay. Now let's take uh, this yellow and orange. And what is in there? See, I'm just outlining it so it's got like a Halo of the, of the yellow and orange. Okay, that's that. There we go. And then um, now, what I need, believe it or not, would be my fine tip marker because I'd like to just draw some leaves in there. Oh, I found one. Let's see if this will work. No, don't know. Uh, it might work. It's not really small enough, I don't think. Let me see. Not small enough. Anyway, if you have a small enough marker, you might want to draw a few leaves in here. I just thought, I mean, just trying to empty. Always add your own little embellishments to it, right? Why not, huh? Okay, let's take a, a lime peel, and if you if you if you drew yours in with your little marker, you can just fill them in, put them in the background here a little. Okay, all right. Now on here, I want to use uh, the blues. So let's take a, a blue here. And I want to, where's that lilac at? Uh, I don't know, we don't need that, we'll just use this, what is this one? Oh, it is lilac, okay, cool. Alright, so let's just uh, do some lilac here. But I'm going to leave a little line. Oh, I really need some glasses. See, I'm leaving, I'm trying to leave a little line in between to have like a little highlight, but my eyes are so bad. Okay, um, okay. then I'm going to take, uh, I need a purplish color here, let's do this one, uh, Parma Violet. And then with the Parma Violet, so putting in some shades. Let's take uh, ultramarine. No, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Ultramarine, and just create some sh shadowing. that lilac again. Here it is. With the lilac, I'm just going to... Well, my idea isn't going to work, so I'll just fill it all in there like that. Okay. But I need my dark, so... Okay, this one's not going to be dark enough. The blue, we need that indigo blue that I was using, and I can't find it. So let me grab something, a different one that's dark here. It's this one here. Oh, Indian Throne Blue, that's fine. Well, let's put some Indian Throne Blue in here for our dark, because you know i got to have my darks and lights. Okay. And, uh, 
Let's see. I think for this pot here, let's use um, what is this here? sky blue light. Put sky blue light in here. Okay, and then let's take our. Um, let's see, this is light aqua. Okay, and then. Carrot green. Okay. And then um, some indigo blue. Now I find my indigo blue. Sky blue, sky blue light. Blend it a little. Need a little bit more blending. All right. Well, that's it so far for this video. I think we've outrun our time. So, um, thank you very much. This is part two. Um, part three. We're gonna do um, some more plants, and then um, hopefully, and we gotta do the shelf, the shelf, and then of course the awesome background that we're gonna do, which is gonna be really great. So, um, hope you're having fun coloring your picture. All right, see you in the next video. Ciao.